Tonight, new ways to create clean power with water. Engineers from across the country are in Sacramento this week showing off new hydroelectric technology. And tonight, we're getting answers on how smaller power projects could really help solve the state's energy crisis. On the brink of blackouts this summer, California's demand for power set records, and now some utilities are looking to produce more power with water. Hydropower is a great solution for what California is facing. Right now, most hydroelectricity comes from large dams like Folsom and Oroville, but new small-scale projects like this one in Oakdale are getting designed to generate power in existing irrigation canals. We're bringing in equipment that can be uh, placed right in the water, use that natural energy to generate power and to do it in a way that's very low cost. The state has hundreds of miles of existing waterways that could one day generate power. We're able to provide enough energy for water districts to often become net zero or energy exporters. Another idea is called pumped storage, using lakes to save excess solar and wind power for when it's needed most. It is essentially a giant water battery that works by gravity. You can take water from a reservoir when you've got too much power so much solar on the grid you can't use it, pump it up to the higher reservoir, and when the sun sets and you need that power, release it. That falling water turns the turbine, creates clean, carbon-free power. And because it recirculates the same water, it could be used even during a drought. It's just a loop. A stream of potential clean energy that could keep the lights on. Water has always been the source of the lowest cost electricity that we have. And right now, about 10% of California's energy comes from hydroelectricity. Utilities can now tap into federal money to help pay for these types of projects.